Understand this, this sea of energy is just waves. What's going on everybody? It's DG from DG Mindset. It's your boy, we are back. I'm going to break down something that I know each one of you are itching to know. I get hundreds of DMs a day based on this topic right here. Before we jump in, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you put on your notifications when the video drops because we are putting them out. And make sure you share this with at least three people. People always ask me, how do I manifest? How do I manifest? How do I manifest? We actually did a video earlier on like how you manifest, but I'm gonna break it down and make it really simple for you. Because people are asking me, how did you blow up on social media? How did your YouTube subscribers go up so high? I'm gonna tell you how I did it. I'm gonna make it really simple for you. I'm not saying you're gonna gain 150,000 followers on Instagram in a week. That's not what I'm saying. But I will teach you how this thing called the universe actually works. Get ready. To make it really simple, you are living in an oscillating sea of energy. You cannot perceive it, just as a fish does not know that it's in water until it comes out of water. But we are living in an oscillating sea of energy. This sea of energy has so many different names, it's not even funny. The universal field, the unified field, the mind, God. The names are countless. But understand this, this sea of energy is just waves of pure potential that can transform into particles that then materialize into matter, which create the circumstances that you call life. But these waves of energy are interacting with you. What part of you? Your heart. So whatever you feel in your heart, the energy that is being pulled back to you, that is collapsing these waves into particles, is going to be done by the heart. And this is simple electrodynamics. Your thoughts are electric, they send out the impulse, they send out the order, your heart is what brings it back, literally caving space and time. So people ask me, so yeah, but how do I do it? I wanna create more, I wanna... We'll just use money as an example. It's not money that you actually want. <clears throat> Let me say this again. The universe does not give you money. The universe gives you the energy that money signifies in your life. So if money signifies peace and freedom in my life, and that's what I feel when I think of having a billion dollars, that will be what I end up pulling back to me or magnetizing or attracting in my life. I won't pull back money, I will pull back the energy of freedom and peace. Do you see how that works? The key was for you to match the energy of the thing that you were looking to manifest. Let's just say you want a new job. Okay, how would you feel if you had a new job? Feel grateful, I would feel at peace, I would feel fulfilled. Okay, those three emotions right there, that those three energies, that's what you need to be right now. You need to be feeling fulfilled, at peace, freedom. You need to be feeling this in your heart center for at least three days. Here's why. Scientists found back in the 1990s that your brain has over 40,000 sensory neurites that can think, learn, and feel. But then they found out that their heart, our hearts, have over 40,000 sensory neurites that can think, learn, and feel independently of the brain. Wait a minute. So that means our heart is a thinking vessel. That's why we were supposed to do whatever made us happy. Whatever lit you up, whatever you love to do, <clears throat> your passions, that's what you were supposed to go after. When you went after your passions, now you are aligning with the energy of your heart or also known as your subconscious and that is what is tied to this field of energy. So when people ask me, how did you blow up so fast? I made a commitment to myself for at least 14 days. I was going to walk around in the energy of the three main emotions that I would feel if all of these things had already come true. And I did it for 14 days. Now I gave myself a deadline and said I wanted to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram by March 1st. When March 1st hit, I had 9,490. I didn't hit 10,000. But when I woke up on March 2nd, I was at 10.1. Now it's easy for the logical, linear, egoic mind to say, oh, well that was just coincidence, that was luck. That was less than three weeks ago. Now Instagram is at over 235,000 plus. I never bought followers, but I continued to carry the energy as if it was already done. Do you see how this works? If we look at Mark eleven twenty four 24 in the Bible, what does it say? Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it. Meaning you had to walk around like you were him already. 
You had to walk around like you were her, even when it didn't look like in the world. You had to be at first on the inside and it would be yours. So the trick, the key to you manifesting your life was to use this wonderful tool that we call the imagination that could warp this thing called time to figure out what it would be like in the future. Be that right now in the present moment and now we could cave space in on itself and attract and magnetize the situation to us. And here's the last thing I'll tell you. Don't worry about how it's gonna show itself because there was infinite possibilities as to how this was gonna manifest in your life. That's the best part is watching these quote unquote miracles unfold. If this resonates with you, or if you wanna find out more, you guys can join the community, the Conscious Evolution community, found at dgmindset.com backslash community. Come in where I teach you actually how to consciously manifest to the finest detail of your lives. Until next time, make sure you share this with somebody, like, subscribe. Oh, and as always, be good.